Okay guys, here are the makeup brushes that I made using Recycle Mag Bags and this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need Mod Podge, a cylinder um, glass container, a Mag Bags, a sponge, and a pencil and some scissors and a ruler. So the first thing you're gonna do is cut your bag. You wanna make sure you pick the side that is the prettiest. I know these bags tend to bend but make sure you just pick uh, the best bag that you can find as possible. So the next thing you're gonna do is just start cutting the bag and you're just gonna take away the side that you don't want. The cutting doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna do much, much more cutting anyways. Once you're done with your back cutting it, you want to just flatten it out. This is a medium back, by the way. And once you do that, you want to get a ruler or a measuring tape and measure out your cylinder or glass jar or box, whatever it is you're using. Here I'm going to use for reference one that I made pre-made only because I want the uh, lettering to be almost exactly the same. So I'm going to measure and I was a little bit over three inches. And I'm just going to make two lines uh, where I want the bag to be. Once you have measured your length, you want to make two straight lines where you're going to cut. Uh, you want to use the ruler. I didn't have a ruler, so I had to get crafty and use the stick. But you just want to go ahead and make two lines. And then uh, it's going to be ready for you to start cutting. Now in this step you actually want to take your time in the cutting because you want to cut right in the lines you made. Uh, if you actually mess up on this step your back is going to be just way too small and it's not going to fit um, whatever you're using as the brush holder. Once you have your strip you want to just make sure you cut around the edges uh, just so you have really nice straight lines and there's no um, ridges once you're you put it together and here you just want to measure and make sure that the length is right before you apply the glue so with your sponge brush and if you can tell mine's missing a piece because my child took a bite out of it you're gonna dip it into the mud pouch and you're gonna make little strokes and apply the glue to the actual back now you want to make soft strokes and not apply too much you don't want to shower on uh, your paper and you're just gonna apply that all over now once you're done with your strip we're gonna move on to your jar and you're just gonna apply it in the same way Ma uh, making strokes don't over glue your thing uh, especially because you add a coat to the paper but you just want to go around and make sure you don't get it all over the place uh, if you do get it like I did um, you can go back with your finger and wipe it off really quick because the glue is you know not dry yet so it'll be easier for you to take it off now this part is crucial you guys out of everything this is probably what it takes the longest because you don't want to get any air bubbles so once you set the paper like here you want to make sure you're pushing down you will feel uh, the paper move a little bit and you see how I got a little bit of glue to there don't worry because Mod Podge is actually um, a clear glue so it will dry clear but you want to make sure uh, as you're putting the strip around you're pressing down and um, making sure you don't want to get any air bubbles at all so you just want to press down So just make sure that there's no air bubbles. This is really the time to get rid of them and any glue that you got around the jar. Uh, after this, we are going to set it down and let it dry and come back and we'll do the next step. So after 15 minutes, uh, the glue is drying and we're gonna add now a coat on top of the paper. The cool thing about Mod Podge is that it dries clear. You could leave it as it was, but I wanted to add an extra coat to make sure that the paper is set and to give it a shiny look. 
you add your layer of glue, we're gonna set it down and come back to do the final step. So after 15 more minutes, we're adding our second coat and this could be your very last coat or not. I only decided to do two, but if you wanna do three, you can go ahead and do three. And you're gonna do the same thing, let it set to dry to get the finished product. So this is the final result, you guys. Uh, it's really easy to do and it's very economical. And the best part is that you get to recycle your Mac bags. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks, guys.